This is Dr. Sabah Alam, a third year resident from the Department of Radiology of Srimati Kashibai Navale Medical College and General Hospital, Pune. The title of this paper is White Matter Abnormalities in Migraine. Migraine is a complex primary headache disorder which is characterized by recurrent episodes of moderate to severe headache, which is often unilateral and is associated with systemic symptoms like nausea, vomiting, photophobia and or phonophobia. Traditionally, it was considered to be a benign condition unrelated to structural brain abnormalities. However, now it has been linked to an elevated risk of ischemia and stroke, particularly in women under 45 years of age who have migraine with aura. Recent findings from neuroimaging investigations like MRI has suggested that migraine pathology may extend beyond acute symptomatology, that is pain, and potentially induce chronic structural changes in the brain, including white matter hyperintensities and silent infarct-like lesions. This study aims to assess the brain white matter abnormalities in cases of migraine as compared to controls. The study was conducted in the Department of Radiology of Srimati Kashibai Navale Medical College at General Hospital, Pune. It is a case control study. It was done from 1st October 2022 to 30 June 2024. The case group consisted of 51 patients referred to our department for MRI brain after being diagnosed with migraine according to the IHCD3. The, the age of the patient were more than 18 years. Uh, cases with neurological disorders other than migraine or patients having systemic disorders, psychiatric disorders were excluded to eliminate any possible cause of white matter lesions. The control group consisted of 50 healthy controls. Patients were divided into episodic and chronic migraine on basis of frequency of migraine, where episodic migraine was defined as less than 15 days of headache per month and chronic migraine was defined as more than 15 days of headache per month for more than equal to 3 months. Patients were also categorized on the basis uh, of presence or absence of aura. MRI brain was performed on a GE 1.5 Tesla Cigna creator after a written informed consent. Teen MRI brain sequences were taken. White matter hyperintensities were analyzed on flare and tattooated images, appearing as small punctate hyperintense foci on both sequences, having more than 3 mm in size and not showing any mass effect. In fact, like lesions or lacunes were defined as asymptomatic MRI signal abnormalities appearing as non-mass parenchymal defects of more than equal to 3 mm in size and ISS, uh, iso intense to CSF uh, fluid signal on all sequences and having surrounding flare hyperintense rim. The age range in the case and control group was 18 to 54 years and 18 to 55 years respectively. There was no significant difference in the mean age, the age distribution and the gender distribution of these two groups. 29.4% of the patients had migraine with aura. 70.6% of patients have had episodic migraine, whereas the rest had chronic migraine. This is the case of an 18-year-old female with episodic migraine without aura since 6 months. The actual flare and tattooated image so show a small punctate white matter hyperintensity in the right frontal white matter. Next is a 20-year-old male with right-sided episodic migraine associated with aura since 1 year. Actual flare and tattooated image show an old lateral infarct in the right lentiform nucleus and bilateral caudate nuclei. A 34-year-old female with chronic migraine associated with aura since one year. Actual and coronal flare and actual tattooated image show small punctate hyperintense foci in the right frontal white matter and in the right coronary radiata. The presence of white matter hyperintensity was significantly higher in migraine cases as compared to controls and in females as compared to male. The cases having age range of 46 to 55 years had the highest proportion of white matter hyperintensities. The percentage of migraine patients having white matter hyperintensities increased with increasing duration of migraine up to 15 years. Uh, however, 75% of the cases having headache frequency of 16 to 20 days per month were observed to have these lesions. The prevalence of white matter hyperintensities was more in chronic migraine as compared to episodic migraine and in migraine with aura as compared to those without aura. However, this difference did not reach statistical significance. All of our white matter hyperintensities were supratentorial and the right frontal white matter was the most common location of these lesions in our study. The presence of uh, infarct-like lesions was significantly higher in uh, migraine cases as compared to controls as 7% of the cases had ILLs and none of the controls had it. 75% uh, of the patients with IL, uh, having ILLs were female and uh, ILLs were more commonly seen in patients having aura uh, and they were present in the thalamus and the basal ganglia region. 
Several cross-sectional and longitudinal studies, including population-based research, have found a significant association of migraine with white matter hyperintensity with the higher risk seen in females. In a recent study by Minchin et al., it was observed that migraine patients with my white matter lesions were significantly older than those without the lesions. Bilging et al. found a significantly higher proportion of white matter hyperintensities in chronic migraineurs as compared to episodic migraineurs. And a strong association of white matter hyperintensities was seen in migraineurs with aura. In this study, we found a similar trend. However, the differences were not statistically significant. While the camera one study reported infratentorial white matter hyperintensity to be more prevalent in migraineurs, in this study, all of the white matter uh, hyperintensity was supratentorial, which partially aligned with, find with the findings of many other studies. Frontal lobe was the most common site of white matter hyperintensity in our study and few other studies. In this study, uh, 7 out of 8 of the chronic migraineurs had white matter hyperintensity, uh, showed involvement of the frontal lobe, which was similar to the findings of Dobrinina et al., who observed 100% frontal lobe involvement in chronic migraineurs. The study had a significantly higher prevalence of infarct-like lesions or ILLs in migraine cases as compared to controls, aligning with other studies. 50% uh, of the patients having ILLs were aged 18 to 25 years, suggesting that these lesions may be migraine-specific rather than due to age-related ischemic change. Majority of the patients having ILLs had migraine with aura. Similar observation was also made by other cross-sectional study, but they predominantly found ILL in posterior circulation. In contrast, all of our patients had supratentorial ILL located in the basal ganglia and thalami, which, which was in corroboration with the findings of Kurt et al. No association was found in the study between white matter hyperintensities and infarct-like lesions, also aligning with the findings of Kurt et al. The study adds weight to the previous theory that migraine is significantly associated with white matter hyperintensities and infarct-like lesions, particularly in females. These are my references. Thank you.